Once you've added a project, you can start inserting your data. If you have multiple projects, it is wise to check that the right one is active, which can be seen here. First, let's look at the settings of this page. These are the general settings of your data entries. It's best to look at this before entering any data so that you know what you're working with and don't change things halfway through. Select the units of length and flow that you're familiar with and that suit your measurement material. In the drill log section, select whether you want to enter end, the end or bottom depth of a soil layer while entering a drill log, or whether you prefer to enter the thickness of the layer. In the pump test section, you can edit the right section of the table, indicating the starting time at which you want to change your measuring interval. If you want to reset the initial settings in this table, click Restore Default. Don't worry, this will not reset the settings for the other section of this page, only the pump test part. After you've completed the settings, you can start creating data entries through the Create New Data Entry button. If you click this button, you are asked to select what type of data you want to insert. For each of these data types, a separate tutorial is available.